Welcome to this video. I am Narendra Verma. In this video, I will be showing how you can develop your first Android application using PhoneGap and AngularJS. So there are two parts. First of all, you have to create your PhoneGap project. So in my previous video or previous blog, I have already shown how you can create your PhoneGap project from scratch. So if you go to here, or this is my blog that is actually showing hybrid uh, app development, Android application development using PhoneGap. If you want to refer this video, like I mean to refer this video, this video I attached here in the blog itself. If you will search this blog or put this URL and Verma Tech blog, this particular thing, then you are able to see how you can create your PhoneGap project and import into your Android Studio. Once you are done with your importing project PhoneGap project into Android Studio, now my next step is to create or attach the availability of angular js into your phonegap project so the this this video i will be just going through about the steps to uh, you know facilitate using the angular js in your phonegap project so once the phonegap project is done in as per this previous video or previous blog what you have to do you have to just download angular js zip from here so once you click this uh, I, will, I would show you this URL so code.angularjs.org this one at that particular point of time I have downloaded 1.3.8 zip and extracted in my local environment so once you perform this first step or extract your angular zip you will see your angular directory like this the next thing is is your just to open your project uh, in your Android studio so that I already created here what you have to do, this, your Android or PhoneGap project will look like this once you import into the Android Studio and your www directory will always come with your PhoneGap project. What you have to do, you have to just create your lib folder. Inside that lib folder, you create Angular and you need to copy all the JS files, those are containing or those are there in the Angular JS directory. So, once I copied all these files inside this Angular here, we can use the you know features of the Angular in our uh, project. The second step is just to you know once you created this one, okay, copied. Now third one is like you have to create your app.js file uh, under below directory. What directory it is? This is www.njs. Let me go to the project directory here. Cancel it out. Uh, so this is the JS and under this directory we need to create app.js. Let us create this file, give the name app.js and click OK. What you have to, we have to give this content like this. So this is uh, the uh, pretty much the all syntax are related to your Angular and this Angular.module is coming from the, you know, the JS library that is provided by the Angular and we have set it up our controller that is called my controller and the message whatever the message you want to give here so once you you have created your app.js now you have to change your index.html file to add whatever the green mark text is here so let us go to index.html yes we have this index.html now let me move this script part from here to the top what you have to do you have to add the angular specific javascript files so whatever the directory we have created we will refer the same directory to import the scripts of the angular so the lib angular and angular.js this lib.angular and angular.js files are imported the second is like this one so inside the JS, we have created our app.js file. So we are referring this app.js file here. Now, what you have to add? You have to add the directives of Angular inside your HTML tag. So this is our HTML tag. Give this ng app. You are telling this what is the name of your application. So let me give that NV hybrid uh, application, whatever we have. What we have to do now? we have to add directives that is related to ng controller so you have to show you have to say in your app that what controller you want to 
attached. So my controller that we have defined here in the app.js, this is the my controller and we are attaching this my controller here. So whatever the variables we have used inside this my controller, we can use those variables in this index.html file. Now let me show you how you can use it out. Let us show this message. So uh, let's remove this one or let's keep this as it is. We have this message and we would like to add one more input type text box that should be bind to the value of this message. So this message is the same variable that we have defined in the app.js file. Right. So all these steps we have performed is just created the app.js controller, attached the app and this app is attached here with the help of the directives controller and all. So the very brief summary like second step create this app.js this look will look like this whatever the changes we have done here. Right. Once you perform the steps, the next one is we have to just run into our application or ABD. So let us try to run. Once you run it out, uh, after some time it will ask because my emulator was running earlier, it will ask whether you want to continue. I will click OK. And uh, once it is deployed, this will be updated, whatever the angular.js or index.html is updated. So, yep, this is being initialized. Let's wait for some time once it is loaded. Yep, you have to wait for some time, maybe for a couple of seconds more because it's being initialized and it's going to show you your first angular JS file, I mean angular message that you have written here on the UI of the application. Okay, this is uh, now available and we will just unlock it. Once we unlock and um, maybe after some time it's going to load that application. Not sure what's happening here and uh, we can do one thing, let's close it out, let's again run, maybe it's due to it was already launched, let us try to you know evaluate it from scratch. This time I hope this will load the application, again it will take some time. I'm sorry you have to be very patient on this, yes it's, it's going to be loaded. So meanwhile it's being loaded, uh, let us talk about whatever we did here. So as, as I told us, this, this script angular.js is only added due to you know, uh, using the features of the angular.js and this app.js is that we have created and generally in a very simple hello world program what we have to do, we have to write the directives in the angular.js and we have to attach the controllers here. Now it is available. Let's unlock it. Okay, the application is uh, available and um, wow. So we have this welcome to first page. This is their welcome to first Android application build using phone gap and angular.js if I change this value of it so let us change it out it's going to so once you change the, this box your our message is updated accordingly see this message so this is all about um, using our the first application about PhoneGap and AngularJS. I hope this will help you out to build your first Android application. Thanks a lot for listening.